Right, this is what it's like to try and get tickets using the Arsenal system when tickets become available through Ticket Exchange. So, let's refresh. This is for the PSV Eindhoven game. There's been loads of tickets coming up. I was trying it all day yesterday. 6134, go on to 1C3. We have to wait while it says loading seats. Loads the seat. You go in on the seat that you got there. You got to be so quick. But I'm just demonstrating how you in there. So the selected seats are no longer available. In terms of the map. Okay. I'll come and go back. Okay. Come out. Now then, if we know, so if we refresh, and we get ready with the mouse over here. So that as soon as it refreshes, you do with your seats, seats are still a section 134. So nothing new has come up, so there's no point in going for that. So that's already been allocated and told that we're told that it's not available. So if we go for that, refresh, get the mouse again ready so we can click straight away. View available seats, it's still 134. Yesterday I had a list of about 15 different seats, sometimes pairs, which is what I'm really after, available. And when I clicked on it, no matter which one of these tabs I clicked on, it came up so it was available. Never got through successfully to try and be able to purchase one. Okay, let's have another go. Let's come up to here, refresh again. I'm not sure if this is exactly the right way to do it, but it seems to be work. Load in. Go view available seats again. Here we go. Section 19 has just come up, so we go on to that. Section 19 has just come up. You've got to wait for it to load. You've got to click on the seat, load in your seats, and in that amount of time, selected seats no longer available. So how I, I sat here doing this for nearly four hours whilst working and spending some time on this site trying to get seats using our four memberships that we've got and wasn't successful once. Okay, loading seats again. So I go back to the map. All right, let's do view available seats. Oh, uh, some of them all come up now then. There's a pair side by side, which is exactly what we want. Two side by side. Time you click on it and ask for it to highlight it, which has to zoom in and do. These seats are no longer available. So why can't, when the tickets say that they come up, when they come up here, so if we go back now, let's refresh this. So it's showing those two still on row 19. But let's go here now. When this comes up here and you click on this, why can't that be the process that you are selecting the seat? Instead of having to click on this, it then zooms into the area, says loading seats, and then highlights the seat, and then you've got to get your mouse exactly right and click on the seat, which by which time, no chance. Because anybody that's got a bot or any automation to operate this system, you're never going to beat it. So again, why not, when you say loading seats, and you put up the stadium view, and if I would come in as a member, logged in, and I click on view available seats, here we go, something else is brand new, it's just come up, row 17, section 17, row 18, it's got to load it, there it is, okay, click on the seat, gone. It just, it's just flawed, absolutely flawed, the time it takes to try and get across there. If, if, if you put view available seats and a seat comes up, when you click there, it should then take you to the page to try and buy that ticket. You know where the seat is. It tells you section row and seat number. And if there's two available, because I want a pair, then great. There's two here, section 19, row three, tickets 571 and 572. Which is exactly what I've selected that I'd like to try and get, which is two tickets up here, quantity two, although I've got four memberships. Thought that bit might be easier. This is just absolute rubbish system.